हाय फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्लासेस बाय लैब डॉक्टर आज के क्लास में लेट अस सी अबाउट कैल्शियम फॉस्फेट क्रिस्टल्स इन द यूरिन सो दीज आर द कैल्शियम फॉस्फेट क्रिस्टल्स एंड दीज आर यूजुअली कलरलेस क्रिस्टल्स एंड दे कैन बी सीन इन द यूरिन ऑफ नॉर्मल इंडिविजुअल्स आल्सो ये कैल्शियम फॉस्फेट जो क्रिस्टल्स है वी यूजुअली सी इट इन अल्कलाइन पीएच एंड ये डाइल्यूट एसिटिक एसिड जब हम डालेंगे तो दीज क्रिस्टल्स आर सॉल्यूबल सो दिस क्रिस्टल्स मे अपियर एज अ स्टार स्टार लाइक और अ नीडल लाइक एंड समटाइम्स दे फॉर्म अ प्लेट ऑल्सो एंड समटाइम्स दे सीन सिंगल समटाइम्स दे सीन इन क्लस्टर्स बट दिस दिस क्रिस्टल्स आर लार्ज फ्लैट शेप्ड दे लुक लाइक प्लेट्स और वेजेस आपके ऐसे दिखेंगे एंड समटाइम्स यू विल सी दैट दे कैन बी सीन सिंगली और इन क्लस्टर्स एंड दे हैव अ पॉइंटेड एंड एट वन कॉर्नर एंड दे हैव a blunt end at the other and they may be associated with the kidney stone formation also so you can see here these are wedge shaped so this is a wedge so yahan pe ye wedge shape dikhenge yahan pe flat hai yahan pe it is more pointed and here it is rectangular shaped and fan like shaped arrangement you can see them overlapping and in clusters so uh, these uh, crystals if they come together they can form calcium phosphate kidney stones also and uh, these uh, calcium phosphate stones we have to differentiate it from the sulfonamide a crystal so sulfonamides uh, when we will see it if a patient is consuming uh, sulfa drugs sometimes it crystallizes in the urine and forms the uh, crystals that what is called as a sulfonamide crystals and how do you differentiate calcium phosphate crystals from sulfonamide crystals calcium phosphate i have told you it is soluble in dilute acetic acid whereas the sulfonamide crystals they are not soluble in dilute acetic acid so here also you can see a picture wherein these wedge shaped crystals they have come together and they are forming a cluster here and you can appreciate it so i have told you that when we discuss about kidney stones we uh, classify kidney stones as non infectious and infectious when i say infectious it is steroid stone etc sometimes there is uh, genetic stones like cystine stone which happens in case of inborn errors of metabolism non infection stone there are there means there is no nidus of infection for the formation of these stones so this can happen uh, like in calcium oxalate stone calcium phosphate stone uric acid stone ye स्टोन में कोई नाइडस ऑफ इन्फेक्शन नहीं है वह जैसे कि स्ट्रॉइड स्टोन जो होता है यूजुअली यूरिनरी ट्रैक्ट इन्फेक्शन में या बैक्टीरियल इन्फेक्शन में हम लोग ये काइंड ऑफ स्टोन्स को देखते रहते हैं सो कैल्शियम फॉस्फेटेज लाइक कैल्शियम ऑक्सलेट एंड यूरिक एसिड दिस इज अ नॉन इन्फेक्शियस स्टोन क्यों होता है फिर देन दिस स्टोन हैपन्स बिकॉज आइदर इट कुड बी बिकॉज ऑफ हाई कैल्शियम इन द ब्लड दैट इज हाइपर और द अल्कलाइन पी ऑफ द urine might uh, stimulate the formation of these stones and we treat it by giving citrates thiazides etc when we have to treat the calcium phosphate uh, stones so here also this is an another picture you can see the beautiful wedges here and here also the rectangular shaped wedges they are overlapping each other and they form a star like structure and they have come together here so remember calcium phosphatase either it can be rectangular or it can be wedge shaped and some majority of the times we see that they have this fan like arrangement when we see a ceiling fan it looks like that but they are all clumped together and uh, here they have crystallized in a formation of a plate with irregular corners and uh, this uh, calcium phosphate crystals you see in alkaline urine so calcium phosphate crystals can be seen in normal urine also it usually occurs in alkaline urine a uh, urine which is having high ph and uh, these crystals are usually colorless needle shaped wedge shaped come in rosettes and form and they may appear as a star like a fan shaped arrangement which can be either broad based like a blunted uh, ended shields or it can be like needle shaped 
so that is all about calcium phosphate thank you so much for watching the video please like share and subscribe the channel thank you